Greetings artists. Uh, this is part three of our bleeding tissue watercolor portrait. Uh, round one, we ended up getting the pigment off of the tissue paper and onto the watercolor paper. My paper is still not quite the flattest. I might need to flatten it a bit more. Uh, the next step is outlining. We did that in the last video. We took our time. We tried to do our best outlining all the individual pieces. The last section, this is where it comes in handy to have a printer. Um, I simply took some pictures of students that I have, well, students that are in my class. Um, you can print out your picture in black and white and simply trim around your figure. Um, I did a contrast on this one, so you couldn't really tell which student it is. I increased the color con or the the darkness and lightness and highlights and contrast. So it's got like a line drawing feel before I printed. And now that I have this, I'm gonna place it on either the, the bottom of the portrait or the top, have it upside down. Um, if you are making this at home, I recommend having two pictures of yourself. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with two different students because I don't have doubles. I have one picture at the bottom. You want to have two pictures of yourself, so you can have one at the bottom and one at the top. You can play with the placement. It could be the middle. It could be the sides. But in the end, we want to have two images of yourself. My example has two different students. But you want to find the, the right spots where you want it to be on your picture. And once you find that spot, you can just simply glue it into place. Final step of this would really just be to let this dry entirely and then put a little bit of weight on top of it just to flatten out the paper a little bit more. But that is our bleeding tissue paper portrait. Thanks for watching.